So I haven't done any videos recently, mainly because this heater block just fell off. So I had some trouble there. And on top of insult and injury, the, the readings, the temperature readings were all wacky. It didn't work anymore, so my printer stalled. And uh, I had to fix that. It's not entirely fixed just yet. I'm still working on it, but I got uh, it printing again. And also I've been working on the website. I'm going to include a section for on the website for makers where you can download stuff. Yeah, I'm going to link my YouTube videos in, in, in there as well as the Bulkman 3D CNC milling machine called the Workbee. In case you don't know what a CNC milling machine is, this is uh, the motor. You put a drill in here. And it's going to be a surface over here, a, a wooden plate or a wooden surface. And you can put some object on there and then just engrave it or cut out things with this mill. And this is a 2.2 kilowatt, 24,000 RPM uh, motor. So, yeah, this is a pretty good deal, I think, for, uh, for what it's worth. I'll provide the links in the description, of course. And today we're going to drill some holes and make this thing connect below here to guide these energy chains. So that's basically what we're going to do. Well, that's Wolfgang, a friend of mine, is going to do. Well, we popped a few holes in some L-shaped aluminium here. Extrude. Fix, normals, control N, control F, intersect boolean. So we popped in a few holes in here as well. Move this over here. And then I uh, used, uh, how do you call them? I think they call it pop nail or something. And it must pop, pop, pop! So we pop these on here. And then screw this underneath like that and now I have made a 3d print so the energy chain would be connected to this and it would be guided by this rail here and we made it the print a bit challenging putting all kinds of holes in there at random as well as here just to prevent warping because uh, we're going to print with a different material that's called uh, ASA. It's printed at 232-260 degrees Celsius centigrade and uh, it's warping a bit. The bed should be 100 degrees, I, we, well we printed it at uh, 80 degrees or 70 or so. It worked out fine with sufficient hairspray at least. If you have a glass surface you have to spray it on there, let it dry and spray again so there's two layers of it and then while printing the rim or the brim, I also sprayed it a bit uh, to keep it a bit uh, sticky. And uh, it's a new material, it's called a ASA. And it's pretty sturdy, but I think I just used a little bit too high a temperature. It's hard to see, it's all black. But I've put in many holes because it seems to be warping pretty easily. And if you put in holes, it doesn't warp that much. Rivets, rivets, yeah, okay, look, we've got rivets here, and it's all attached, very nice, there you go, now let's put this thing on top, bang, here we go, B, E, A, beautiful, so I'm really excited for the future, once this thing is done, well, I guess there's going to be a whole lot more projects and a lot of interesting things going on. What? Ow. I'm so sorry, little ducky. Let me put you back here. Enjoy the view. Yeah, so now this part, yeah, this part has two holes, one here, one here. 
which fits on top on these spacers for this and motor and it's got a bit of a curve there to make room for the shaft coupler inside here and this drag chain is attached to the print and now and now we're going to have this same aluminium profile out here as well we've attached it here and now this thing also needs to be connected with the 3d print yeah we still need a 3d print for here yeah so this is one of the prints that i'm working on and when i'm finished with with all the brackets needed i'm gonna post these on thingiverse of course I omitted the logo from it, so there's no logo visible. Uh, we didn't print that in there, so there's no logo on this print. It will be ready for download with the next video or so. Uh, as well as the workbee itself. And most of the parts of the workbee, I found them at uh, openbuild.org. I'll supply a link, of course. And uh, yeah, in my next video, I will be talking about thermistors, since something wrong went wrong with my thermistor i figured i could do a video about that too so i'm working on that as well as website and of course the mask the final video on the mask is uh, will be coming up soon so uh, stay tuned hit that like button at least if you like the videos i didn't make anyway and uh, take care i'll see you soon